Hi. Sorry. Oh, late reaction. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Weekend and G. It sounded like it was it was like taking a picture. It sounded strange. It sounded strange. So weekend and G. We're gonna start with cancer. Because I have it all lined up here. I have it all lined up here. Happy holiday weekend. Okay. Um be safe. Be smart. All right, Cancer, weekend energy. <clears throat> You're being quiet about a situation. Um, not really talking about it, healing, you know, going within. Um, summer, 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 summertime. Let me clarify summer for you. Summer. It usually talks about the past. It's mm, still a little tricky. Is it something you should have gave up since summer? Have you had feelings for somebody since summer? You've been attracted to a woman since summer? Are you going to surrender in the summer? You've been communicating with somebody since summer. And with surrender right now, it's like lonely, feeling left out. Um, okay, so... All right, let me think about this for a minute. You basically have had feelings for somebody probably strong since last summer, started communicating with someone last summer. Um, right now, the person that's trying to control the situation that needs to, like, sacrifice or you know, let go of control issues is, is feeling lonely, um, left out. This, this could be petty. Like you've been in a petty situation. So a connection that you made last summer, something that went down last summer that you've been quiet, quiet about. This is petty. It's like you're still communicating with somebody, not really speaking the truth about a situation. So if this is this weekend's energy, yeah, see, it's it's something with the with the with the five of swords. It's lies, it's manipulation. Um could possibly even be karmic. So this is telling me someone's been hush hush and doing something wanting to win fight argue this is bizarre because something's gonna resurface this weekend for you um but this is someone who's been quiet about a situation. Someone's also been manipulating a situation since last summer. You or this other energy is in the process of healing. But yet yeah, you're, you're still talking to this person. It's like they won't let go. And they're, they're talking... Because they're lonely, they feel left out in the cold, they they just, you know, their own reasons why. But it's petty. So, and these are fives, right? So, there's definitely a need for change 
It's like you need to let go of something, especially if someone's just being petty. Some type of commitment. Yeah, somebody from your past is going to come around this summer. I mean, this summer, maybe. But someone from your past with the Six of Cups reversed wants, is going to come back this weekend. And they're going to try to rebuild something with you. Um, you guys might talk about commitment, getting back together, building something. The four of wands speaks of commitment, building on the right type of grounds. It's solid. It's, it's capable. You can do it. Um, there's some arguing going on for sure, too. I don't know if someone went hermit on someone, got real quiet. Or it's like, this is like wanting to win, winning at all costs, if it's not an argument. So, I was expecting to do a really quick weekend energy troops. It's like, how did this just happen? Tell me about this four of wands real quick. Someone's definitely wanting to talk, you know, talking, moving on, singly happy, living in the moment, having fun. So maybe someone's having a hard time that, you know, you moved on or vice versa. Um, <clears throat> yeah, see, someone's not talking. And then you got the phoenix. A new phase, a rekindle, a renewal, a transformation, growth, changed mind. So this was probably somebody who didn't want a commitment. You could have been dating, seeing somebody, talking, communicating since last summer. And now they want to come in and fix something. They want to let go of control issues, which is probably going to be tough with the Five of Swords being here because this is, you know, winning at all costs. So something could go in your favor this weekend. I don't know if someone's planning something. It wouldn't be now. It would be regarding, like, the future. Or like next few months, like something like that. So I don't necessarily think this Five of Swords is awful. Normally I interpret it as it's just not a great card, you know. Um, it's like everybody loses. All right, so coming out of confusion. So someone's, you know, coming out of confusion. Um, seeing something differently and is going to hit you up this weekend. But it, it could just because it's petty because you're hanging out with friends, you're moving on, you're living in the moment. For some of you, just be careful. Others of you, it's, it's a new phase, okay? And you can build something on solid grounds. So you just have to know who's coming at you when they come at you, okay? <laughs> so there's that. All right, moving forward. I am not trying to do 10-minute reads for everybody. Jeez. Okay. I have so much to do. I leave early tomorrow morning to go camping. I haven't even packed. <clears throat> I gotta drop Sheldon off at the babysitters. I got lots to do. 
I was still thinking about you and what we do in between me and you. All right. Take me to the candy shop. Not cow is in um, the radio. That song was on the radio earlier. Squawk. Weekend energy for squawk. To me, that's like disbelief. Not really kind of, you're like, what the fuck? You know? Um, so, and then you got action. So this might be, this actually might be positive. Because this is almost like something's coming at you. And, it, and it's, it's like, well, someone regrets it how something's going down so somebody wants to come in and take action others of you it might not be that positive tell me about numbing you know we are going into mercury it just people are going to try to come back <sighs> this is somebody you see that it's like I don't know if this is like sex thing um, you try to get a little something, because this is like a disbelief to me, not like numb, you know, and then with the three of pence reverse, it's like, there's, there's zero effort, so I don't know if you put an effort, had some type of idea, whatever it is, it, it feels like, if it hasn't happened, well, it's weekend energy, right, but, um, it's like you're not having it. Temperance reversed. Like, the, yeah, see, there's, there's like, there's no balance here. And then regret. Yeah, see, somebody wants to walk. This is, this is somebody, well, this is somebody who usually is thinking about walking back to something. So somebody right now, I don't know if you tried to hit someone up, if you were trying to be intimate, if you were trying or or trying this weekend, or it had to have been something that just happened. It's 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 almost like this went down and it's like coming back around or something. So I don't I don't know if like like, say you even just tried kissing somebody and it's like you felt you got rejected or something. Like, it's like disbelief, right? But there was like no balance. And now somebody wants to come in and take action because they feel bad for how something went down. Others of you, um, this could be one of those situations where it's like, um, like, what's that saying? What rejection it is like spirit's way of like, um, not blessing you, but like, I forget, I for but it's butterfly. All right. Relationship evolving, going to the next phase, healing inner child. If, I mean, I only did Cancer and Scorpio, guys. I, I feel like someone's coming back around. It's, it's Mercury creeping in this weekend. But it doesn't look awful. Okay? So, clearly it's, it's up to you on the route you want to go. Okay? All right. Pisces. Pisces, please. Pisces. Crossroads. Having to make a decision. Recognition. Focus. My 
be some fear here. So having to make a decision, realizing there's something going on with some type of connection. And maybe it's just time to shift your focus. It's like, grab that. But this is like listening into your wish, listening to your intuition is it's almost like because something didn't go in your direction, something didn't work out. I think you thought something was going to play out a different way. And it didn't. So there's a feminine energy here that's got a lot of feelings for a situation or a masculine's got a lot of feelings for um, uh, from, I forget what I was saying, but vice versa. Yeah, so it's, it's like an unhappy situation and someone wants their happy back. So if this hasn't like recently just happened in the last 24 to 48 hours, you know, it's, it's like weekend energy. This is somebody that's like, shit, I really should be listening to my intuition here. There's definitely some fear. Um, wants to, you know, talk about their feelings, talk about something. They're realizing something. They're feeling something. They're catching feelings. And, and it's like now they're reshifting their focus, refocusing because they're unhappy, you know. Um, but it, it's like to me, I, I don't know if you, again, I don't know if you followed your gut somewhere and it's like, again, didn't work out. You're seeing something and it's unhappy because this is like somebody who's, um, Sometimes the 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 Prince of Wands reversed is not something you like to hear. Any of the pages, you know, it's depending on, you know, the element. Um, well, it's it's just it's not something you really want to hear. So I don't know if you like turn your back to somebody because they put no work into something and no effort or something went down. Well, something's going down. I, I keep saying and talking to you guys like this already happened. It's weird. But somebody like wants their happy back. Could be somebody who's drinking too much that just kind of could drunk text you and then it's like, yeah. I got the chaser though. We have abandonment issues, codependent in a relationship. So there's something going on here. There's, but there's fear here too. So it's almost like you're shifting the way you're looking at something because somebody just wasn't giving enough or is still not giving enough. What's happening here? Unconditional love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. See, I, I knew that. Let's see what's going on here. So maybe it's the end of a, a third. Maybe there was a third party and it's the end of a third party. Someone shifted their focus and decided, you know, like, I've had enough. But the chaser's here. So it, to me, it's like somebody... It's not really be focusing if they're still trying to chase union, wedding, marriage, soul contract, everlasting promise. So maybe it was like some type of marriage or commitment that didn't work out, and somebody's seeing someone else like real clear now. Or this is like a destined situation. 
and is, you know, decides, hey, I'm not going to work this weekend. I don't know. It's weekend energy, right? See interested, conversating more, waiting for a message. So it's not, it's not negative. What, what this is though, I feel like it's probably was more fear because this is somebody who just kind of wants their happy back and is not happy about a situation. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. There could have been some competition here, some arguing. People, Too many people were given. So this kind of looks like there was too many people in the picture at one point. And somebody was definitely holding back, holding on. I think whatever this is, let's just see that possible outcome. I think it's trying to tell us like it's over in a way. Like someone's finally turning their back to something. That's you just no longer working for them. But over here, like there's something destined. Wedding rings, talking, unconditional love. You might want to go check out um the raw love I did. Um, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there. So yeah, this person is no longer, there's, it's almost like it's saying there's no longer third party interference. Like they're not putting any work into it anymore. Like they have totally like their focus is elsewhere and now they're ready to get out there and, you know, date. Okay. So I don't know why spirit needed to make that clear for you guys like that, but they did. All right, moving on. Let me clean my glasses real quick. All right, Taurus. Weekend energy for Taurus. Taurus, weekend energy. Compromise, dark night of the soul. I feel like something's coming right at you. It, it's like right in my face. And I'm, I'm turning them, obviously, but... I don't know if somebody was putting money before something or someone's trying to discuss this is money. But there's emotions here too, there's feelings. Tell me about promise. I mean, well, that's weird. Someone may make a promise. Tell me about compromise. So seeing something clearly, but it's like somebody else is not putting the work in. Someone else is not compromising. So I don't know if that person is going to be like in the whole dark night of the soul thing. No, you got a feminine here that's kind of like dark night of the soul because, and it, it is, it's like you're a cat too. It's like you're not putting effort into something. You're not compromising. Um, tell me about material world. If you're arguing about money, yeah, see there's lies and deception, feeling defeated. Someone's lying about money this weekend. So this is somebody who's kind of, in a way, telling me it's like kind of pretending to want to work on something or clearly is not working on something, but the compromising is not going so great. And you have a feminine here that's going to be in dark energy, like dark night of the soul. Like this is somebody who needs more self-worth. And there's lies, some type of deception when it comes to money. And it's, it's like the end of that, though. I think someone's picking up on it. So there could be a big fight this weekend because somebody's not having it with the three of pence reversed, like not having it at all. 
Okay. Um, oh yeah, Queen of, Queen of Pants reverse. Kisses, unconditionally loving, given, receiving, falling in love, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you. So it's not a woman that's not put an effort in because she wouldn't be reversed. Well, yeah, but like into a man, apparently. Because this is somebody who loves and knows how to nurture. So, not, so somebody is not compromising, not talking. And, and is not putting any effort in. So you're basically over the weekend saying, fuck you. You got a lot of love. But the woman's like, eh, scratch that. And now it looks like this a masculine that's going to go through a dark night of the soul. And there's still something about work that they're lying, they're lying about. like lying about the finances <sighs> palm tree stability growth endurance so someone's got if we're referencing money someone's got money it's security Welcoming the love, meeting the one, opening your heart. See, how are these so positive right now? What's happening? Tell me about the three of pence. Reverse. Talking, conversating more. Wow. What is going on, guys? I think you're dealing with somebody who wasn't having a situation and now they just want to like come in and talk. Like they, they're they going through like a dark, dark period and, and it's like now you're not putting energy into it and before you were like kissing them, loving them, you know. Um, I don't know if they're just so incredibly focused on money and it's like they sabotaged it and now it's over because this energy... It's like wants it back. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. No. No, that's not what that is either. And I don't feel like someone is going to try to come back either. It could just be like, opening the heart. I feel like this is just someone that's now opening their heart now because they went through a dark night of the soul. So again, it's like, it's still positive. It's, but I did tell the first story the first way. So that's a thing for some of you guys. Yeah, see, unhappy. So it, see, there's still something it's almost like seeing the Prince of Pence, that's the, I mean, the Princess of Pence, that's the Queen of Pence, it's like, but you're upright here, you're good, you're solid, so this is like a masculine, or if you're in the same sex, you know, it's just unhappy without you, like, things aren't the same without you, and it's like somebody's realizing it. All right, moving on. I have to, um, my mom's calling me real quick, so she doesn't know I'm working. Perfect timing. I will come back in one second, and we will do Virgo. You might hear Sheldon scattering around.
about that. All right. What are we on? Virgo, 32. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I had to help my mom with something real quick. Sorry, guys. Contemplation. Virgo, we get energy, please. You have a masculine here thinking real hard. Well, you're thinking real hard about what to do with the masculine. Yeah, no. This energy feels stuck. Is it deciding like, oh man, I know I'm stuck. I don't want to be stuck anymore. You know, let's see what's going on. man is this weighing on somebody somebody wants to come in and deliver a message but there is it's like it's like someone doesn't know what to say or how to say it yeah making a judgment call Stressing this energy out. So there was a woman that was stuck. You could be down with an Aries, but like stuck. Or oh, this is a woman with a man. <laughs> no, it's like this is the man. Like this is real heavy. Okay. So. I don't know if they turned their back on her or if it's just like, this is making a judgment call or if she just finally stopped putting that effort into something. Because this is somebody who's like pissed, not nurturing anything. They stopped putting the effort in. Maybe this person's like realizing you know, like, hey, why the fuck am I just sitting here doing nothing with my life when it's like that? It's like, look at, so I communicate the truth, so I go in the new direction. This is somebody moving forward from a marriage or a mother, someone in the family, someone they have kids with. Do I just speak the truth? This is all about coming out and talking. And it's almost like the feeling I'm getting is like just getting it over and done with. I, I kind of feel like that conversation I already had, but that's at the bottom of the deck. So it's like another one's coming. So it's, it's like... It's just stuck. Not really freeing. You're not really freeing yourself yet. Well, you are. You're making a judgment call this weekend because you're, you're sick and tired of something. Tell me about stuck. Yeah, see, this person doesn't even want to be stuck anymore. They want to go out there and meet somebody new, plan a date. So let's see what this energy might possibly do this weekend. This mask going over here with this judgment call. Clarity, truth, protection. Yeah, so it, it's going down. Someone's definitely making a judgment call this weekend. So that's positive. All right, moving on. Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. 
All right. Weekend energy for Capricorn. Sip of water. Oh, Jesus, Max, you scared the living crap out of me. Okay. Capricorn. Weekend energy. That's one too many. Conclusion, wanting to wrap something up, figuring something out, ascending, positivity. Balance of the scales, look at this, wrapping something up and moving. Well, some of you might actually physically be moving, but like literally this is like, look at like self-worth, like bam. What a fantastic weekend. Tell me about conclusion. Nope, didn't want to come out. Conclusion. What is happening? I contemplated just using this stuff to clarify, and then all that kept happening, so maybe they just want me to do what I originally was going to do. Addiction, karmic relationships, separation, sunglasses. <laughs> okay, there's a relationship that was karmic that is over, okay? Um, could be an addiction, lots of things, you know, the separation, sunglasses, you know, watching, gaslighting, perfection. So you got someone still watching, but it's it's still definitely over. You have four cards, like it, it's over. It's sadness, thinking about you, unsure of the future. You know, there's some type of code of bad relationship. It's, it's karmic, okay? Um, you're freeing yourself. Ascending, focusing on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Awesome sauce. Good job, guys. What is this balance? This is something that's coming at you. Coffee cup. Meeting, conversating, meeting up with a friend, making healthy choices in life and love and self-care. Holy crap. What a beautiful read. Wow. Okay. Moving forward. Aquarius. Aquarius, weekend energy, please. So you're taking a you're definitely taking a break from a situation right now. Um, something's been going down since fall, and right now is someone's really been feeling stuck since pretty much fall. Okay, um, and this is you know taking a break because there's the song that just came to me. Send me a higher love. So knowing that you probably want more. You're already vibing with somebody on a whole nother level. They're still feeling stuck. I feel like this is a, a breakaway this weekend, though. Aquarius, tell me about stuck. Yeah, it's like choosing. This is like, so you have one energy that's that's healing. You have another energy that is not moving on, not 
making moves, not moving forward. This is someone that's straight up stuck. But it could be the other person too, because like the back's kind of like going this way. You got one healing, one that's just kind of not doing anything. There's definitely a pause. Yeah, something's over in this masculine's mind. Someone could be dreaming about you right now. Yes, the two of wands, though, is, is like, this energy is not quite moving forward yet because this is someone who's, who's fearing a situation. Two of Wands reverse sometimes extremely positive, though. That is making a decision, but at the same time, there's fear here, so. Yeah, sure. it's like, Caught of hands, taking a, a chance, a risk, being strategic, options, not showing their hand yet, and then we got a mask. Not showing their true feelings, hiding personality, dilute gaslighting. So this is this is somebody who is 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 just fear fearful, but is is moving forward. This is also a situation that was probably toxic. That is just it's not moving. It's it's over. It's done, and somebody's going in a brand new direction here with the fifth dimension, vibing on a whole new level. Yeah, see, wedding rings, eternal marriage, soul connection, everlasting promise. This is, you have a soul contract with somebody else. It's, it's going to come in soon, okay? All right, let's go to Libra. Libra, please. Weekend energy. Libra. Again, fear, uh, you know, a very strong connection, but not saying anything, being extremely fearful here. Like something didn't go in someone's direction. So this is coming out of like solitude, out of fear mode. This energy is not grounded though. not given yet yeah see they're still being super quiet about something we had that in the other read where the empress was reversed so it's like no longer giving to a situation no longer fearing the worst somebody was definitely like stuck in fear thank you for the headbutt max time to get down get down Come on, down. Yeah, see, this is like needing to make a decision, but again, not wanting to see something stalemate. So I don't know if there's an energy was just trying to stall another energy. This is like an energy here, like a feminine not wanting to see that somebody else is with somebody else keeping somebody fearful maybe 
but it's like breaking away from that. This energy is like, I'm done being fearful and going after something else. Overall energy, overall energy this weekend for Libra, please. There's definitely stuff going on behind the scenes. You got palm tree, you know, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. And then we got love, unconditional love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So don't let other people's energy get the best of you this weekend, please. Okay. Moving on to Gemini. Staying alive, staying alive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Gemini. Understanding. Material world throughout and karmic partner. There's a karmic. There's oh yeah, remember that Empress came out too? That was something all about money too. Something's going on financially with a, a karmic situation. So someone's hoping somebody is going to understand a situation because this is making a choice when it comes to a lover. See, someone, so if you ask me, somebody is, is probably wealthy in a situation here or, you know, has enough to, is, is stable, okay, and secure. Um, and um, someone's hoping, like, they just understand... Like a choice they made. Yeah, seeing this is somebody not understanding and lying. This is somebody who's like, I'm not in it to win it. I'm not in it just for the money. No, the fuck you're not. You sure are. Yeah, see, not, not again, not wanting to see it. That's that whole Empress energy, not wanting to see it. It's almost like the money is going to go in another direction or elsewhere. Like that's, it's like someone's security is, someone's in a situation for financial security and doesn't want to accept that it's over. Because someone needs to understand somebody is going in another direction. Max down. Yeah, see the Grim Reaper. It's over. No second chances. So, somebody still wants to come in and try, apparently. And the Phoenix with the Ace of Coin. A new phase, a rekindle, a transformation. Okay, going in a new direction. Beautiful. Love it. Alright, moving on. Aries. Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Weekend energy for Aries. Healing, processing. Twin flame soulmate. Forgiveness. So someone's hoping somebody will forgive somebody for a situation here. Tell me about healing for Aries. Yeah, healing. Something's over. Going in a new direction. Having the strength to go in a new direction. It's, it's almost like saying, like, you're healing. It is something that's over, but it's like this process. It's like time to go in a new direction. Tell me about twin flame. Could be dealing with a Leo. It's a sun. 
some card judgment. It's, it's a heavy, it's, you're making a heavy, heavy decision, okay? Um, oh my God, they just keep falling. It's like, it's like this energy is crying about something, okay? Um, so like when this energy communicates over the weekend, it's like the feminine is upset about something and then you got soulmate and then you got judgment in the tower. So it, it's like out of the blue, something comes in. It might even shock you. It's like someone made a judgment call to go in a new direction. Tell me about um, Twin Flames is Twin Flames. Someone qu wondering what a Twin Flame? Yeah, no. See, it's, it's, it's not enough. All right. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, jealousy, self-sabotage, you know, crocodile tears. And then you have a soulmate situation over here. I mean, that could have ended, but then it's like some you could have had a soulmate, or you have a soulmate. I mean, you you got one of each apparently. Um, something over the weekend could already happen, and it's like that's it. They made a judgment call. No, see, it's, it's love. It's unconditional. You know, it's affection. It's attraction. It's passion. So it's almost like communication. Yeah, see, it's like the tower twice, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, upheaval, transformation. Um, but it's, it's more of a positive. This tower is more of a positive thing. It's like you don't see it coming. So you might get some truth and some communication you don't see coming. Okay. All right, moving forward, Leo. Weekend energy. Weekend energy. Leo. Healing. Summer. Conclusion. So it's like wrapping up something that should have already had been wrapped up or there could be some finalization in the summer. But I don't see, tell me about summer. I don't usually look at things like that. Okay. Um, yeah, this is like a cycle that just went over and over. Yeah, see fall. Yeah, there we go. Cycles over and over. Okay. Um, so the, there had to have been some type of situation that is being wrapped up that should have already have been wrapped up. So you might have held on to it for a long time. Tell me about conclusion. That's that's a whole lot. Okay, yeah, something something was unfair. This is the balance. Like this is those you know, this is some crying. There's a feminine crying. With the other cards that are coming out, it's like crocodile tears. There is some pain, but it is it's not like that. Obviously there's pain, there's healing. There was obviously love at one point. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Um, it is nice that this karmic wave is being pushed out though. So something was extremely unbalanced. Um with the tower, it's like it's just like time to to wrap it up. It's done. It's over. So I got this princess of cups real quick. I saw the six of wands. Yeah, see, there's there's no balance, there's no give or take. You got energy, you got a masculine energy that's um, upset with the situation too. Or again, she's crying over the masculine, trying to get the masculine. To feel, nah, I wouldn't go that far. There's healing, so.
sword and the rose clarity truth so it's like something comes out it's something that's said um max enough tell me about summer real quick that was mask like not saying something since summer hiding something soulmates so there's been somebody in your life since summer so i don't know if you've been hiding it but right now it's like not showing your hand, but wanting to take a chance, you know, um, or you know something's been going down, or you know there's another person, especially if you're wrapping up something that's karmic with something that's unfair and unbalanced, balanced and not, ha um, unfair, no balance, too much give and take, too many people in the picture with the three of cups, Tell me about healing, please. I keep seeing stabbed in the back. Not today. I'm also feeling a situation, too, if there's like a soulmate and a karmic. It, it's like one feels backstabbed and the other one feels like defeated, you know? And you got the snake. See competition and being clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, the other woman. So that's definitely a karmic that's been interfering since summer when it comes to somebody and their soulmate. You know, and it's like this weekend, something comes out just so it's just like done. You know, um, so you're healing from a situation that, you know, was, was not good. It's tough. You know, um... You had a feminine fire sign that wanted to come out reversed. I don't know if it's the woman. Yeah, see, it's the empress again. It's the same woman that's being malicious. And it is, it is, it does boil down to, you know, um, material, material things. It is, it, you know, um, and in the other reads too, it is, it's the, the loss of financial security. It just, it is, it is what it is. Cards don't lie. It keeps coming out, you know, and I think somebody still might not see it because this woman's a lot more clever than someone thinks. This, you know, you had a woman hanging on to a situation um, for, for stability, you know. So let's wrap this up. Looks like something's going down this weekend, so puts everybody where they need to be. All righty, schneides. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, it's gonna be right at the 60 mark. All right, weekend energy, Sagittarius. Divine timing. Crossroads. So, whatever's going down this weekend, thoughts, places, things, definitely meant to be. You could be thinking about the past. You got the past here. You got the past here. Cabs are here. You might be taking a walk and you bump into a soulmate, somebody from your past. It's definitely time. Yeah, see, so this is somebody who wants to come back. Back around the mountain. Yeah, crossroads. So this is like, do I want long term? Do I not? Someone's putting the weight down. Tell me about the ten of pence. Could be legacy, could be family, could be business. Damn. You might have to rebuild your money, your financial situation, or give money. Maybe somebody was holding on to a marriage because they didn't want to lose money. They didn't want to give out money. 
but they would know they would have to at this point to get it done and over with, you know? Yeah, there's something that with the past, there was just, there was no balance, there was no love. So someone seeing that it was money. Okay. Um, that's a good thing. Someone could be getting a gift this weekend too. Yeah, clarity, truth. See, something's coming out. Something is coming out. Yeah, see, not enough. Frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, sabotage, jealousy. Okay. So whatever this is, I don't think that's the someone that's coming back you don't want. Oh, it could be, but this isn't, you wouldn't go back to the situation. That's not enough, right? So you want to go back to something, looking at photos, missing you, nostalgia. No, it's a chaser. It's definitely somebody who wants to come back, but maybe it's, it's meant for this energy to um, roll back around so the truth can come out and somebody can realize, you know, it's just, it's, it's not enough. It's, it's time to wrap this up. The divine's playing part in this. So it's almost like somebody wants to come back around and the divine's not having it. Max down. Okay. So it's like someone gets the truth this weekend or somebody finally realizes it was all about money for someone or something. Like there's no give and take. It's, it's not enough. So this energy is, there is an energy here that's going to attempt to come back around. And Spirit's not having it. The runner. Listen to the ego. Like, see you later. <laughs> you got one chasing and the other one's running. See you later. Yep, someone else made a different decision in a different direction. You know, tower, bam. Pass is coming back. And this is this is a good this is um a good tower. Something's coming back around, rolling back around. Yep, finally letting go of things that need to be let go of. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. I hope you guys have a kick-ass weekend. Be safe. Love you. Bye.